Hey, looky at that. We're back on Titanfall 2. Why, Eric, why are you on Titanfall 2? Good question. Well, I know I finished the campaign. I'm not posting more campaign. We're actually going to go into the multiplayer. A lot of people were saying, why don't you just play multiplayer? You just played the campaign. We want to see some Titanfall 2 multiplayer as well. So I'm doing this. Truth be told, this will probably be one of the few times that I actually go back into multiplayer. So I really hope you guys enjoy what you're about to see. Because it's probably not going to happen again for a while. But yeah. This video is going to be a little different than what you're probably used to seeing. I'm not going to be just kind of like going around a multiplayer doing highlights of like funny stuff. I, I wanted to make a video just kind of like chilling. I'll be playing multiplayer, but I just wanted to talk about a couple of things. Just point some things out. Uh, the first thing I want to talk about is Titanfall 2 though, which after finishing the campaign and playing the game, I'm really disappointed. Not in the game itself, but I'm disappointed in... Like I'm disappointed with the fact that it didn't do better than it did. I think Titanfall 2's inability to like be more successful than the first one and some of the other games that were released is just it had a bad release date it was releasing around the same time as battlefield one and you know like kind of close to infinite warfare the problem with that is that battlefield one was just pure hype the hype train was rolling like super fucking hard for battlefield one and infinite warfare was getting a lot of hatred and in general people are just kind of tired of the whole like advanced movement and stuff and futuristic sci-fi fps games so it just it just wasn't cutting it and i can see why people wouldn't go for titanfall 2 call of duty aims to try to have the more refined experience and people are going to gravitate towards that and then of course there's a demographic of people who are just tired of all this shit and they just they absolutely adore battlefield one because it was the like the pure opposite of what all this kind of stuff is so with that being said i'm going to go into a match but i just i don't think that titanfall deserves to have all this stuff happen to it i don't want to do march for it no for me when i go into multiplayer i just look for attrition and like pilot versus pilot there's eight thousand people playing i mean this is right now it's almost like one o'clock on a tuesday that's when i'm recording this and that's that's almost peak hours that's not very good. It's also not bad though. Like it's funny because if you think of a typical multiplayer match, generally speaking, you only need like 12 to 18 people. You know, if it's Battlefield, you need more like, if it's like a 64 man thing. But if you really think about it, you don't need that many people to actually fill a server and, you know, fill a lobby. So even though there's only 8,000 players and it doesn't seem like much, especially compared to other games, it's like, it's still viable. I feel the exact same way when I go and play old Call of Duty games. There could only be like 2,000 people playing. But if I can find a match, I'm good. Like, it doesn't matter. This is always the map and game mode I run into when I get back on this game, and I never like it. I don't know why. It's always, like, I always see people camping in, like, high areas with really strong weapons. I can't do anything. I'll unlock Tone. Everyone says Tone's overpowered. I'll play Tone. But yeah, I also just wanted to kind of talk about YouTube a little bit. Um, let you guys know where my head's at with content and all that stuff. Because that's something that, like, I have not talked about in a while. So let's just talk about Nerd Plates for a bit. Because a lot of people have been like, well, remember when this channel used to be about him wanting to do... Ner like nerd voice videos and stuff. I got that guy. Ah oh, shit. I didn't see Stankopotamus. But people are like, yeah, what happened to like the whole idea of doing Melvin's Let's Plays and stuff? I just, I mean, I in general have not pulled the nerd voice out in a long time, as I'm sure you know. Uh, I just, it didn't, that wasn't really the direction I wanted to take nerd plays. I mean, like for me, what ended up, okay. Ooh, I wanted to get that guy first though. So for me, the whole point of nerd plays in the first place was uh, in Elgato. Oh my God. I, I'm so distracted. I'm sorry. Uh, in Elgato, I noticed, like, when I was recording and stuff, I always had, like, leftover recordings. And I didn't want them to go to waste, because that's what was gonna happen. I was ultimately gonna just delete those recordings, and they'd never see the light of day. And it was usually, like, good stuff. It, there was some decent content. It's just that it was extra, I didn't know what to do with it, and I was like, shit, dude, I'm just gonna end up deleting this, because it's just gonna sit on a hard drive, and I don't wanna post it to my main channel. So, I was out of options. So... Uh, I didn't I didn't have an option with just having one channel, so I was like, okay, well, if I make a second channel, I can post this stuff to that, and I have a place for it. So, instead of scrapping content that I, I didn't want to edit and all that stuff, but I felt was actually good enough to be on my main channel, that's what ended up going on Nerd Plays. But, like, initially, though, Nerd Plays was going to be, like, this thing. The whole thing I was talking about, where it would be me doing Let's Plays of, like, different games and stuff with a nerd voice. That was the original idea. And ultimately, over time, I realized there could be a lot more done than just that. Um, but I, but I do see, I do see, like, the, the, like, the purpose for the complaint and why people bring it up. It's because I completely abandoned the original concept. So, so the question now is, do I plan on actually returning to those roots? I honestly don't think so. I don't want to get your guys' hopes up and give you a false hope. Um... I'm, I'm just being realistic. I don't think it's gonna happen. Doesn't mean it won't. I just don't have plans to do anything like that. And that's just where my head's at. But one thing I do want to say about the second channel is that I'm just surprised it's doing so well, man. I didn't have any expectations for the second channel. It was pretty much just like, I'm just gonna post whatever the fuck and have fun with it. Not really care too much. Not try, like, you know, not try too hard. 
as far as it goes for actually producing the content because it's very simple stuff it's just trimmed it's nothing crazy uh, and that's how I intend to keep it because that's how I get enjoyment out of it if I had to stress about editing and doing all those things I could do on my main channel for nerd plays I'd be really upset it's for me it's a really nice break in terms of creating content now as far as it goes for my main channel I just want to let you guys know something like my older videos that have like tons of subtitles and the old style of editing and all that stuff that's when I used to still edit with iMovie and it was a very old version of iMovie the version now sucks and I would not recommend iMovie to anyone who, I'm, who might have like a new computer with it I don't recommend it god I'm savage right now look at those punches I'm gonna get more too let's boost it so fucking fast yo that's oh, that's a specter and uh and about a year and a half to two years ago maybe even longer that's when i made the switch i made the switch to final cut a lot of people ask me what i used to edit and that's what i used to edit i use final cut and i absolutely love final cut i'd recommend it to anyone who uh might want to get into editing and all that stuff it's very good obviously it's not the only option i'd say the closest thing to it uh for windows would be premiere so and you can also use sony vegas you can use whatever the fuck you want if it gets the job done and your videos are like good looking and stuff and it, it does everything you need it to that's cool man i made iMovie work for so long but here's the thing when i switched to final cut i took a different approach with editing and it's one that i wanted to take for a while because here's the dealio when i used to edit with iMovie all i could do was subtitles you could only have one subtitle layer at a time you could only have one extra like picture or video layer at a time and you were very restricted as to what you could actually do with editing it did not have a lot of options and, and ultimately what I was doing over the years is I was learning how to use that to the best of my ability. So what I was doing is I was making a shit ton of subtitles and having all these pictures and stuff because that's all I could do. I could not do anything else. And there's a lot more that can be done with editing if you have the right program. So I had this shift in editing style. I was, I like gradually kind of switched off to doing different things. And obviously when you do things differently, people are going to be upset. There's complaints, suggestions. I mean, like, suggestions are better than anything. Like, that's the one thing I want to point out. But ultimately, when I go back and watch my old videos and I see, the, like, the hundreds of subtitles per video, I'm like, this was so excessive and unnecessary. And ultimately what it did do is it distracted from the actual gameplay and what's going on on the screen itself. Whereas now I can find ways to edit and enhance, like, different scenes and moments and stuff without having to worry about blocking stuff with subtitles, you know? So that's where my head's at with all that stuff. Because I know, like, a lot of people ask me, why don't you go back to the old editing style and it's not something that you can just go back to with final cut now that takes a lot of time and effort and i could put that amount of time and effort in but that's what i wanted to get to as the next point which is the fact that youtube is just mm, it's not in a very good state right now when they said that it's going to be a long time to recover they meant it and i could get more in depth on that but it's honestly just it's upsetting to talk about i just that's why i usually don't talk about it i just want to leave it as is i want to try to have fun and just make videos for you guys and play games and all that good shit i don't want to bother you guys with all the boring shit that you know youtubers have to deal with i just want to be able to still provide you guys with entertaining content i gotta say though it is hard to do it's hard to just keep your mouth shut keep your head down and do what you need to do but that i mean that's how it is though that's life man you gotta roll with the punches you gotta deal with shit and i'm dealing with it to the best of my ability uh i do want to generally just say though like uh the re I, I legitimately kind of do poke fun at, uh, like, the vlogs and all that shit because, well, their content is some of the e absolute, like, easiest stuff to make, and YouTube is just eating it up in terms of the algorithm, all that stuff. The shit's just doing really well right now, and for whatever reason, there seems to be... I, c I can't prove it, per se, but there does seem to be some kind of bias towards gaming content on YouTube. I don't know why that, like, there's been this shift, and that's why it's the case, but, um... Basically, if you're if, if you're a gaming YouTube channel, shit's not very good right now. I don't care what channel you are. It's not good for anyone. It'll obviously be better for some people and worse for others, but like I'd say in general, man, like growing as a gaming YouTube channel right now isn't really the best. It's not the most stable. And we'll keep it we'll, we'll keep it simple like that. I don't think much more really needs to be said. I just want to make you guys aware that's not in a very good state. I plan to keep doing it though. I'm not I don't plan to stop. But I just thought you guys should know if you didn't already. And the last thing I kind of wanted to, to just touch base on is I see a lot of people saying you should make a third channel for guitar stuff and music stuff. And honestly, that is something I'm contemplating, but I, I don't know like what or when or how, like I don't have any of the details quite figured out, but I'm open to the idea of it. Um, I think it would be cool to have a, like a one-stop destination for all that stuff. I'd probably end up re-uploading some of like the older guitar videos. I wouldn't spam sub boxes, like I would just kind of, I'd have them uploaded to the channel so they're there. Like I try to post them before anyone's like truly subscribed and finds out about it, but uh, but it is something that I might have in the works. I'm not going to guarantee it because, again, like, you guys have had a decent reception to guitar videos I posted on my second channel and my main channel. And if I make another channel, then there's just, you know, that likelihood that, hey, like, less people will be able to see it. It'll have less visibility. 
because, you know, I'm posting it to a brand new channel. So it's something I'd have to grow and, like, focus on, but I'm not opposed to it, though. I think it would be really cool. Oh, your weapons only ends for 23 seconds. Damn! Oh, shit, I got killed. How'd I do? I got 30, uh, 13 kills, no Titan kills, 33 minion kills. Oh, my God. Second best. That's not so bad. Where's Owen B? That's the guy we need to watch, because that guy is, yeah, this is our best player. He's playing Monarch. I bet Monarch is a pretty good one to pick. Is that the badass machine gun one? I don't know. I don't know anything about this game. Fuck it. No, but I just wanted to fill you guys in, though. Like, uh, I don't know. For me, I, I kind of am going full circle with the stuff I've been doing on YouTube. I, I'm getting back into doing guitar stuff and music stuff again. And it's not just YouTube related per se. I also want to be able to produce music. I'm very interested in that as well. And in good time, it's all going to be a reality. And I'm sure things with YouTube will improve and get better over time. I don't point the finger at YouTube. I don't blame YouTube. It was something that was bound to happen eventually. And I really can't stress that enough. Don't blame YouTube. Don't blame the content creators. Pointing fingers at people doesn't solve anything at the end of the day. At the end of the day, at least for me, I just need to work my ass off and do my best to make you guys good videos. And all I can really ask for in return is that you guys are able to, you know, spread some love and share the videos. And that's just a mutual thing that I want to keep established for as long as I possibly can. I want to be able to try as much as I can for you guys. And I'm grateful for whatever you guys can do to support me and whatever I end up doing in the future. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's very different than normal, but uh, let me know if I should do more videos like this because I don't want to be disconnected from you guys. And I want to be able to fill you guys in with things that are going on in life and with YouTube and all that stuff. I definitely don't do this type of stuff enough. I don't know if I necessarily should, but I hope you guys enjoyed it either way. And Hope you guys enjoyed the Titanfall 2 gameplay. I don't think that necessarily mattered, but if you guys want to see some more videos like this or you want to see some more Titanfall 2 multiplayer, make sure to drop a like and I'll see you guys later.